Last week on January 11, Microsoft announced a new co-pilot for retail. Here's a look at the press release. As you can see, the title of the announcement refers to Microsoft Cloud. And the bullet points mention new co-pilot templates and also Microsoft Fabric. But the announcement also mentions Azure OpenAI Service. And it mentions Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. And also Retail Media Creative Studio, which it points out is part of the Microsoft Retail Media Platform. And it also mentions Sitecore Order Cloud, and also Typeface, and also Promote IQ. In fact, it mentions 12 different products, platforms, or capabilities, all in this one press release. That seemed to me like a lot of information to digest, even for people who are pretty familiar with some parts of the Microsoft tech stack. So, for convenience, here's a breakdown of everything that was covered, what each one is, and how it all fits together. First, Microsoft Cloud for Retail is the overall platform. Everything else they announced sits inside of that. And now, a key announcement, new Copilot templates. What these new templates do is enable end customers to learn about and see products by expressing what they're looking for using natural language. The example given in the press release was a first-time camper shopping for a camping trip to Yosemite National Park. He writes, I'm going camping in Yosemite this March and I've never camped before. Help me find the right gear. We're told that shoppers would receive a response in natural language with recommendations for essentials, plus other suggestions. We're also told that the Copilot template is powered by GPT-4 through Azure OpenAI Service. And what is that? Well, first of all, of course, OpenAI is the well-known company led by Sam Altman, known for its generative models like GPT-4 and DALI-3. OpenAI also has a chatbot. And building on that, the Azure OpenAI service allows developers to access pre-built libraries and integrate OpenAI models into their applications using REST API calls. So, that's part one of the announcement, and here's what that looks like. Also, the announcement mentions Microsoft Fabric. And what is that? That's a data and analytics platform. It covers the full data lifecycle, ETL, data integration, data science tools, and BI, including customer insight and various retail data solutions. There are nine tools under the Fabric umbrella. Some of the better known ones are Databricks, Synapse Analytics, and Power BI. There's also a data and analytics co-pilot inside that tool set, which was already there prior to last week's announcement. What the announcement mentions as new are some enhancements, including new analytics templates for retailers. It also mentions a new connector to Site Core Order Cloud. And what is that? Sitecore Order Cloud is a special kind of e-commerce platform that's distinguished by being headless. Headless means that the front-end customer experience is separate from the back-end commerce engine, which offers more flexibility. So that's part two of the announcement, and here's what that looks like. The press release also mentions new co-pilot features in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. And what is that? That's a customer data platform. What it does is aggregate customer data from various channels, creating a single customer view, enabling analytics and insights, 
and helping to deliver personalized experiences like segmentation, targeting, journeys, and real-time engagement. The new features that were announced enable users to kickstart projects by typing in a desired outcome in their own words or by uploading an existing creative brief. Copilot then responds by generating a centralized project board and by producing AI-generated content that can then be used as is or modified. On a related note, the announcement mentions that customers will also now have access to Typeface. And what is that? Typeface is a platform that uses generative AI to produce content and images that are aligned to a company's brand kit, including themes, fonts, and product shots located in a central asset library. That new connector is an important integration. It could help streamline the content creation process for marketers who are using that platform. So, that's part three of the announcement, and here's what that looks like. Finally, the press release mentions Retail Media Creative Studio. This is new. What this will do is simplify and automate ad creation and management. It can be used to create and target banner ads or other popular formats, including native ads and sponsored product listings. Creative Studio will be part of the Microsoft Retail Media Platform which, as they point out, is powered by Promote IQ. And what is that? Promote IQ was a retail advertising platform that was acquired by Microsoft in 2019. Since that time, the Microsoft retail media platform has evolved to become an ecosystem of integrated solutions that embed targeted ads from brands within online stores, connecting them directly with potential customers at the point of purchase. So, that's part four of the announcement, and here's what that looks like. So, to summarize, all these new solutions work together within Microsoft Cloud for retail. You'll notice that there were actually six different announcements embedded in that one press release some of which were more prominently emphasized than others. You can see that bottom line there is all new capabilities. And on the top line, the two connectors I've shown are also new. The connector from Microsoft Fabric to Sitecore Order Cloud, and the connector from Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Insights to Typeface. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in regard to this announcement, and I'll be happy to do that. Thanks, and see you next time.